Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Prime Time with Alex Stein. And I just want to start off by saying, guys, it's not always easy being a pimp on a blimp. Just today, while I was out recruiting some more co-pilots for the blimp, I got pushed around and treated very poorly by some net jet protest liaisons. These protest organizers called the Dallas Police Department, and I was escorted out of their precious circle for trying to cover their silly, weird protests, which kind of looked like they used actors from Craigslist, because I use actors from Craigslist, so I would know, but I digress. We'll get into that and much more tonight. But you guys got to realize, you know, it's not easy being a pimp on a blimp. You know, they always want to call the law on me. They always want to strike me down because the haters are always going to hate, but the players are always going to play. And that's the reason my Logan Paul needs to pump the brakes on the Nina Agdal marriage because we are running out of even D-listers she hasn't been pictured with. Dylan Dennis is absolutely destroying your upcoming nuptials, getting over 2 billion views of Twitter engagement this past month alone. With numbers like that, it should be very clear that rushing into a marriage is probably not the smartest decision. But you do you, B, because I'm just a pimp on a blimp, and it's hard being with all these beautiful, fine ladies, constantly romancing and freak dancing. And I've lost a lot of close people to me lately. So I need all the chat rats to show me some love by posting rats and scurrying around about tonight on the internet because the pimp on a blimp is ready for takeoff. Now let's start the show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Prime Time with Alex Stein. I'm your host, Alejandro Stein, and we have an incredible show for you this evening. I know all week you guys have been watching this competition between White Darius and Big Nasty on who is potentially going to be Blaze TV's next idol. But I don't know. It's been a very tough battle. We know that White Darius is down by a few points, and uh, Black Darius, or excuse me, Big, Big Nasty has an advantage, but it's going to be up to you guys to choose. And I'll be honest, both of these guys have worked their butt off. It's going to be a very tough decision. And I know some of you guys hate Big Nasty, and some of you guys hate White Darius. So if you guys really want to show that you hate them, then vote them off the island. It's up to you. It's not going to be my decision because both of these gentlemen have laid their lives on the line, literally. I mean, we were wrestling on, on glass. They ate expired pudding. Tonight we're going to eat some more expired food. And we're just going to see who can basically survive this challenge, hell week, this gauntlet of um, sadicism. Is that a word? I don't know if it is, but it is sadistic. I do know that. So before we get into that, we also have High Res on the show. He's going viral for his latest artificial intelligence song with Donald Trump. It broke the top 20. So I'm very excited to speak to him. I think he was actually, TMZ wanted him to come on their show. So we got the scoop before TMZ. So suck it, Harvey Levin. And I know you would because you are homosexual. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But I know that me offering you that, you might take me up on it. Let's not do that. That was just a metaphorical offer in Minecraft mm -hmm. in a video game. I'm not actually offering myself up to you sexually because I think you would uh, accept that. All right. Well, now, before we get in to the competition, I actually want to bring White Darius and Black Darius. Are you guys mic'd? Just come here real quick before we get high res on. Hurry. Little urgency. Little urgency. We are mic'd and jacked and ready to go. Okay. Well... What we're going to do is tonight, because this competition has been so heated, we're going to actually have a normal, semi-normal interview with High Res, try to talk to him about his virality, and then we're going to do the competition towards the end of the show. So I want you guys to get your mind right and do a little trash talk to kind of preview it for the audience. You go first, White Darius. It's over. I already put the dimethyl mercury. Stop saying coffee. that! Stop saying chemicals on the show. Now, you already know, man. Ain't, you don't stand a chance. You ain't never going to stand a chance. It was over yesterday when I told you I was going to spank that ass, and I'm spanking it again tonight. Mm -hmm. Just shut it down, buddy. Your whole neighborhood will have uranium tetrafluoride. Well, stop saying uh, chemicals on the show, mm -hmm. dude. Uh, you're in the stop saying that. I'm going to see a chemistry a major, huh? You went to school? Yeah, did yes. he go to school and he failed yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, he must. For being be. a weirdo, or is that not true? <laughs> Slightly. Yeah, I'll uranium too. Yeah, but it's over. It's, it's a wrap, it. man. It's, it just it's over. Might as well shut it down, man. It's over. 
You want to go and have a seat? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'll take go sit on his lap. Not right there. Do not oh. get off my set. Get off my set. Off the set. What? Is that what you want to do? I mean, well, I want you freaking focused, dude. Stop dancing like that. Start dancing during the dance competition. You talk a lot of crap. Then when it's time to actually perform, you guys freaking kowtow to the crowd, to the audience, to the chat. And you guys suck it up. I want your freaking full attention this evening. Full effort. It, full effort. <sighs> so hard. I am one of the most successful young men in the entire world. I'm primetime 99 pimp on a blimp. And everybody around me wants to bring me down. Even white dares, they want to bring me down. I'm a pimp on a blimp. You see this? This is a blimp. Metaphorically, but it's also an actual blimp. It's just, you know. It's not floating that high right now because we don't have that much helium. But this blimp will not be able to float without the chat rats. I want every freaking chat, every rat in the chat right now shouting this out, sharing this. Do you hear that? Do you hear the rats in the chat? That's how we do it. All right. Now, before we get him on, what did we have in the prompter that we have to do before we bring on high res? We, right? got, we actually have an ad read today. All right. Let's get that out of the way. All right, as central banks in countries like China, India, and Australia begin transitioning to a digital currency, the Federal Reserve has been contemplating the same for the U.S. The digital currency, the government could track every single purchase you make. Officials could even prohibit you from purchasing certain products or even easily freeze or seize part or all of your money. These are some of the reasons concerned Americans reach out to Birch Gold Group. They want to have a physical asset that's independent from the U.S. dollar, which is gold, and it's held in a tax-sheltered retirement account. Learn if gold is right for you, too. Text ALEX to 989898, and they'll send you a free info kit on gold. With an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau, thousands of happy customers, countless five-star reviews, Birch Gold has been helping my listeners from the very beginning. Now text Alex to 989898 and claim your free info kit on gold. Because if a central bank digital currency becomes reality, it'll be nice to have some gold to depend on. Now I know a lot of you chat rats probably don't have gold. You guys probably have cheese. But you want to protect your cheese too by protecting your money. It will actually afford you more cheese in the future. So go to Birch Gold Group if you have the money. We need it. We need these sponsors. Because this blimp will not survive without you guys patronizing these businesses. Sorry for yelling. I hope that didn't clip the microphone. I need to be better at that. I was listening to the show, clipping the mic a lot. And I think, you know, this show is my baby. And I'm so honored that The Blaze has, have given, has given me the creative license to do whatever I want. And when you're trying to do something that nobody else is doing, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to build this cult audience. So that's why I'm appreciative of each and every one of you, each and every rat in the chat. We have to build this brick by brick one rat at a time. That's how this show is going to become successful over the long run. So $5 super chat. What do they say? Pudding Ninja. Alex should talk about tens of thousands of milk hand expression videos on YouTube. No, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that, I, means, I don't either, what that means. I don't like it. Whenever I don't know what it means, it's always something bad. I never like read a word. They'll say the knee word and then they'll add grow a vegetable, and then you say it fast enough, and you say a racial slur. I'm sick of that crap! Secret racial slurs? What is this? I've actually kind of done those secret racial slurs, but not any real bad ones. Just like, you know, making a guy say, like, what is a, hey, would you blow me? I've done that one. I would be honest. Yeah, I've done hey, would, and you blow me. That is not crossing the line. When you start doing anti-Semitic stuff, the N-word, stop it! Because Brandon and R.I.P. Jimmy... They're dumb enough to read it out loud and get us a terms of service strike. I'm not. I'm a brilliant autist, okay? I'm a genius. You could never fool Primetime 99. But these other people, why Darius, easily fooled. Big Nasty, easily fooled. Jimmy, oh my God, he's like a, a child. You could just steal from him. He would give you a social security number. But now, let's get on. Do we have high res? Getting him now should be on shortly. We are calling high res right now. We're about to have him on. He has a big viral song. Yeah, that's been out talking about Donald Trump using artificial intelligence. Now, I'm happy that he's having success with this, but is this kind of a sad look or peek into the future that now we can just take anybody's voice and create music with them? I mean, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are we opening up Pandora's box? I'd say we probably are, but uh, what are we going to do now? It's already open. I don't think you can shut 
Pandora's box. I don't know if that's how Pandora works. Can we got him. We We're got him. Go. All right, now I'm sweating. It's hot. I don't even think the AC is hot. I'm just so hot. They're not turning on my AC because they're trying to cook me out of my show a little bit. They want me to sweat. You haters won't freaking let me cool down, but this next guy is hot as a pistol, as we say. He's a badass freestyler, but he does more than freestyle. I mean, he's an incredible rapper. He's gone viral for a long time. Huge YouTube channel. A friend of mine, the one, the only, High Res. Welcome to the show, my man. What's up, brother? Thank you for having me. I'm just sending the link out here right now, man. How are you? I'm good. Okay, shout it out. We need you on here. And High Res, I really need your help tonight because what we've been doing is we're looking for the next Blaze TV idol. And we have... Okay. Yeah, we have some guys. They've been doing a terrible job. I mean, we have a guy named uh, White Darius and Big Nasty. They're being perverted. They're constantly fighting, spilling stuff, spilling stuff on my suit, my nice tailored suit, as one of one. Okay. Yes. And they're ruining the show. So uh, tonight, we're going to probably let one of them go, whoever does not win. So this is kind of a big night for them. It's kind of their, you know, last dance, like Michael Jordan said. So I'm like a Simon Cowell tonight, too. You're 100% Simon Cowell, and they're going to be freestyle battling, they're going to be rapping, they're going to be doing challenges that are right up your alley. Okay, so tell us about how are you going viral, TMZ's uh, talking to you. Is this artificial intelligence song, is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Uh, I just said it earlier, I think we opened up Pandora's box, so I think it might be too late. So people are super, uh, first of all, you guys reached out to me a few days ago just because you're the homie, and um, I wasn't going viral a few weeks ago or a few months ago, man, and you know, God is great. The last few days was going crazy. But um, first of all, thank you for having me. And as far as as far as far AI goes, man, it's not AI. I, I don't know why people, you know, it's more like plugins, man. It's it's maybe the plugin is kind of like assisting, you know, some sort of, uh, algor uh, you know, some sort of data and algorithm. But it's not like the way people think there's some robot just creating a record. It's not as stupid as that sounds. It's literally like, I have to go in there and I'm like, orange man bad. And I have to start saying things and doing things and rapping them. Because if I'm rapping like this and I'm rapping like that, it sounds terrible. It doesn't sound like Trump. It doesn't sound like Biden. It doesn't sound like anybody. So you have to talk like Obama or whoever. And you kind of got to mimic the cadence and the tone. And you have to write it and record it and do all that stuff. And then these plugins, you literally mix it like a normal record. So um, it's something I feel good about that I don't think a lot of people can do right now. I think soon, yeah, it will probably be like as ridiculous as you're picturing it. But as of right now, it's literally just plugins, bro. It's not like some robot just pulling the strings and I'm like some puppet. You know what I mean? I know. And that's what people think. Artificial intelligence, like it's some huge threat. But if you try to use it for anything creatively, you have to give it so many prompts. So like you said, you're just adding compression yeah. to your voice to make it sound more like that. That's like what T-Pain does to make his voice sound like, Mah, or whatever, you know, it's just, right. yeah, it's just an add on a plugin, like you're saying. So yeah, that's not that big a deal. And you got to write these lyrics. So tell me this, uh, were you surprised that you got all of this? Uh, I mean, what is it? Top 20 in all genres? What the hell? That doesn't even sound possible in this day and age. Yeah. So we broke top 20 of all genres. Uh, we're definitely going to get a billboard record or a couple, which is insane. Um, I want to present one to Trump, which is going to be funny. I'm really hoping that we could actually do that. Give him a give him a rap a rap billboard record. Uh, it's number it's been number two on the rap the rap genre for a long time now for almost a week straight. It really hasn't uh, moved up or down, which is which is crazy. So it's killing it, man. It's killing it. It has like people are stealing it. I know something successful because, like you said, I've been going viral for you know almost ten years, and I know something successful when people start tagging it and sending it to me and not knowing it's me. And people are like, "Yo, I didn't know it was you." Just like you, you've been viral. Oh, I didn't know that was you. And I've seen you in pro you know they start connecting the dots. So when I was viral, you know, uh, seven, eight years ago with my McDonald's rep and I saw someone sitting next to me on a plane listening to it, this is kind of the same thing where, you know, I'm hearing people and seeing, not a person necessarily, but I'm seeing TikTokers steal it and rap pages post it and no one's tagging me. And I'm not even mad, man. It's just, you know, it's helping the streams go up. And uh, honestly, at the end of the day, I just wanted to make people laugh. So let's play the song. OK, we have the song. Do we have it keyed up? If we do, let's uh, play that because everybody's talking about it. Well. Shout out Patriot J, Benny Johnson, Big Bongino, <laughs> Alex Jones, free my dogs and lock up the radical left's gone crazy. I don't bail, I don't bail, I won't see inside a cell. Shout out Thugger, free my slime, slat, slat, YSL. They trying to lock me up, but I'm plugged in in ATL. Got homies doing life in jail, they living in hell. These DAs acting silly, my mugshot is worth a billy. So some merchant made a million.
Philly, shot me Millie out in Philly, shot the baby, shot the salsa, Benny Butcher, then my rollers called me racist, but these rappers riding with me, then my soldiers, mega, 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 I am not who they are after, I'm just in the way they want to get to you, but I won't let them, cold hearted, no I'm artist, getting back to where I started, I don't need to do the race, I'ma beat them Rico charges, and if I go to prison, you can't do me like the Clintons, I'll be laid up, eating steak with Secret Service, chilling, screaming, orange man bad, the whole world mad, thug life, shout out all of my MAGA base sheds, coming for the deep state, I will stop the new world order, but before that I'll finish walls at the border, YSL, slash slash, shout out thugger, Trini got nothing on us. $10 super chat from Grofty. High res is a badass like Alex. Yes, they love you. We got a $10 super chat. That was so clean, cleaner than me drinking this glass cleaner. <laughs> yeah, man, I loved it, man. That was fun. We try to drink some of this every show because it gets me really high. That looks great, man. <laughs> great value. I like it. <laughs> great value is, you know, some Walmart, so it has all the good chemicals that I like. I like that, man. So let me, what is my favorite chemical here? I'll read it to you. Let me see. Where are the directions? Do I don't they have the chemicals on here? Oh my gosh, they have one of these fold backs so you don't have to read, so you don't get to see it. So do you think the frogs are turning gay from the chemicals in the water, hi Res? Yeah, 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 I think uh, I think that's 100% true. I, I think that it's absolutely happening for sure. What are we gonna do if all the kids are gay? That's not good. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, I think it's possible, bro. I think it's definitely. I, I had before before I got into anything political or socio political or any of that. I had this um, this vision or maybe a dream or I don't know what it was, but I literally thought that there would be one day where all men became women and women became men and men started. Kids. This is before I knew Alex Jones or the Frog thing or anything. And I was like, Yeah, we're gonna live in a world where all the men are eventually gonna carry, you know, kids and women are gonna go out and do what they do. And it was some weird dystopian movie idea, and it already exists. They have this yeah, like egg here. movie that they're coming out. We're in hell. Yeah, and they literally they want to transfer wombs where a man can have a womb now. I mean, that's playing with God. That's disgusting. Uh, I mean, this is kind of scary what's really happening. What do you think the deal is with the trans agenda, though? You know, I think it's satanic. It's out of like the Bible, Baphomet, which is like a biblical figure with breasts, but then also like the. I know figures. what it is. Yeah. So I know. So I know you know, but what do you think this is? Do you think it's satanic? So once again, just like anything else, you have the climate change and then you have climate agenda. You have trans people and then you have the trans agenda. You know what I mean? You have all these different things. So yeah, as far as the agenda goes, I don't think, I think it's totally malicious. I think that it's, you know, when is there ever a good case of cutting off young children's breasts or penises? That never sounds, that that doesn't sound positive at all to me, you know? No, and it really is just, it's kind of scary because then they become lifelong patients. And I don't trust the medicine, uh, you know, the pharmaceutical industrial complex one bit. So just the fact that they're in charge of these kids doing life changing decisions yet they can't get a tattoo they can't vote but they can chop off their boobs it's just really scary yeah yeah no it's definitely uh there's definitely some sort of evil evil things going on right now and how do we fight that though i mean what, what do we do like i guess for me i use humor and comedy i know you're doing the same you use your music because dude I'm, i've become clown pilled where the world is so absurd I can only be absurd back. I mean, that's the only way I think I can fight against it because if I try to be serious and talk about, they're trying to indict Trump and this and that. Oh, I love the cat. Show the cat. And I have toxoplasmosis. But I'm saying every time I try to get serious, it does have an effect. It does help a little bit. But I think with me, I've, I've had nothing more successful than when I clown or troll politicians than actually seriously trying to debate them. Yeah, I feel the same way. I think, um, I mean, you see what I'm doing. It's not just the music. I enjoy, I enjoy ha adding humor to it, and I think that's a big element. I think laughing at people's, you know, faces, not necessarily, I mean, you do it physically, you do it in person. You do incredibly high-quality videos. I'm not trying to kiss your butt. I mean, you make real good, high-quality stuff, not just boo-boo, uh, throw it against the wall stuff that I do. No, you really make you. incredible stuff. Oh, we got another $10 super, super chat. chat. We got a $10 super chat. Yeah. What did they say? Moy Freestyle Life. So lit. Happy to have found your channel because of high res. The people love high res, bro. High res is a badass, dude. He's going quadruple viral, dude. He's about to get a billboard track, man. Yes, we're lucky that we have him. Well, are you going to go on TMZ? What did Harvey Levin and them say? So I, I, so I was just on TMZ this morning, and I, I was a little, I don't want to say nervous, but I, it was like one of the only ones where I knew there was, there's an agenda, right? There's they're trying to get you in a gotcha moment constantly. And that was the case. Like they asked me, I'm going to post it um, probably after this show, but they kept asking me like, so you hate Trump, right? That's why you made it. 
And then I was like, yo, like, I just want people to enjoy it. It's just a Trump rap. It's not that serious, you know, whatever, whatever. And they're like, well, what if Trump plays it at a rally? I'm like, Hillary Clinton could play it. Joe Biden could play it. Trump could play it. And then I was like, you know, they kept saying all these things. And, and I kept bringing up, um, I kept bringing up, I said, you know, Michael Jordan said, jo uh, Republicans buy Jordan's Sue. And, and, and they love that. And they're like, you know what? He did say that. And they said, well, why did you make the song? And then I said this, uh, I said, well, you know, uh, Billy Madison, uh, uh, Adam Sandler, I said, well, he just wanted to see a blue duck. So he painted a blue duck. I said, I just wanted to hear Trump the Don rap. I was like, it's as simple as that. And I just kept, you know, I kept it polished and clean. I, you know, I thought about um, going on with one of those pink, you know, uh, pussy hats. And that would have been says, funny. Uh, what did you wear? I thought about that. What did you go on I, wearing? I just, I dressed normal. I wanted to keep it like as if I'm a professional, which sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But I genuinely was like thinking about, like I have a shirt that says future is female and I was gonna go on with one of those pink hats. And I realized like it probably wouldn't have been, you know, like obviously it makes sense for you and I could have done it too. But uh, I actually thought about this last night. I was like, yo, I might just give Alex the login. and He pretend he's me. Ah, that would have been good. No, but I would never have done that, dude. Because honestly, with Harvey Levin and them, like we don't agree with them politically, but that's a huge platform to go on TMZ and get your message uh, out there. Because you know why it's, it's a big deal? Because they wanted to create a narrative that you don't like Trump. You know, they don't even want to give you any airtime that anybody could be, you know, of course. Possibly a Trump fan. Yeah, that's why the song is so successful. So were they that dumb to think that you were anti-Trump? That they didn't look at you for five minutes, your Twitter or anything? Or yeah, so he, he was at your wedding. So so the producer or whoever it was, I guess, asked only like five or ten minutes before. They said, has Hyrez ever met Trump? So I, I already know what I'm getting into now. I know that they have no idea who I am. They have no idea what I'm doing. And, you know, they don't even know I was on TMZ when I did the McDonald's rap eight, nine years ago, whatever it was. So they haven't they didn't connect the dots, obviously. But yeah, to answer your question, they did no research. They had no idea who I was. Um, I even I it was on my wife's phone, but we basically wrote back. We didn't bring up the wedding. We didn't. We we're just like, yeah, they've met once. That's all we said. We didn't want like I didn't want the conversation to be about Trump or the wedding. I wanted to promote the record. You know what I mean? Of course. You're a businessman. We got to make money. And that's why it's so important to support you because you're fully independent. A lot of these people out here, you know, what do you think about all this music, the satanic? culture and music I mean that's that's not an accident we had Lady Gaga's dad on and I asked him hey what do you think about your daughter's spirit cooking and he was like well Marina Abramovich is a famous artist I mean that's what she does I mean he was just you know and he's right in a weird sense though he is right that she's a famous artist and you can see why famous people want to be with her but spirit cooking is a little you know that's a little out there wait wait, wait. What, what did the dad was the dad for against like what is this it's one of the, supportive like, of his daughter did he's like Alex yeah Marina Abramovich is a big artist Alex what am I going to tell my daughter not to hang out with famous artists basically that was like his answer to it and then it's okay, all to art. Your question, to answer your question, um, I always had this, this strange, like, I, I didn't like the negativity that came with, even when I was more libertarian or apolitical or just kind of stayed out of it, I always noticed how weird things were when it came to, like, abortion or just celebrating things that, you know, shouldn't be celebrated. You know, we can, we, can, we can make the argument or debate and try to meet halfway when it comes to, like, policies, right? Like, we're all humans. You could say, I, I agree with this, I don't agree with that. But like from a cultural standpoint, it started becoming weird when I noticed that they were just glamorizing, you know, violence and 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 sex and hookup culture and drugs and all these things. And once again, I we all have friends that live that way. Maybe you or I have lived that way in our lives. But to glamorize it and and make it cool and tell kids how cool it is, that's when I started really kind of getting off board. Where it was like, this is a little bit strange. Like I don't care what you do, but like why are we talking about this and pushing it? Well, for me, I mean, as a kid, I loved Three Six Mafia. That was my favorite. Sure. They've been on the syrup, you know, and now looking back, they gave them an, an Academy Award. They would never give a rap group an Academy right. Award. But they did that because they glamorized sa Satanism and, uh, you know, dr doing drugs. Right. So now looking back, that was all part of their kind of plan to pump up somebody that would only encourage kids to be more, uh, right. you know, degenerate. And I'm friends, with, um, I'm friends with a lot of these guys, man, that once again, I might not agree with politically or culturally or spiritually. And, you know, they might be addicts or this or that. Like we've all dealt with with things. You know, we all have our vices and we all have our demons. Right. But um, I'm friends with Lil White, who was close with three six. And I, I grew up bumping three six, like you said. And I don't even blame a lot of these artists, bro. But I do genuinely blame. Um, I do blame them. I put blame on them for not kind of, you know, acknowledging what's going on. But but I definitely blame the labels. I blame the distribution companies. I blame, you know, uh, all the uh, the people that are just get going along with the get along. It's like, but it got so ridiculous, like you said. 
it used to be like these nerds in a basement that were like spirit cooking or like doing Ouija board shit. Now it's like main stage, bro. So now that it's in your face and it's main stage, I'm not playing anymore. I didn't care that somebody was like hanging out in LA and they were, I didn't care. I didn't care what you guys were doing. You know what I mean? But now that it's mainstream, we're not playing anymore. Travis Scott has what? 10 people die at his concert. Nobody even makes a big deal. He's like literally like doing satanic rituals, like, uh, and like vibing to weird noises. Nobody even talks about wow. that. No, it's wild, bro. We're acting like that that didn't happen. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not a guy who really, I don't go looking for conspiracy theories, but if something's in my face, I'm going to always question it. And um, if somebody proposes something or an idea to me, I'm going to question it. And it's weird, man. I mean, you know, uh, Ariana Grande a long time ago had the bombing at her concert and a ton of children died. And, you know, rest in peace to these people that are in the way, man. I'm not, I'm not sitting here to like, you know, talk these people's names in vain. But like you said, 10, 10 you know, kids, some kids are dying at the Travis Scott concert. And in what world is this, bro? These are not like, these are not, it's the weirdest, this is hip hop or pop. We're not talking about like these, these weirdo, you know, uh, emo rock kids that we grew up listening to or didn't listen to where it was like they all had this shit going on. Now it's in your face, bro. I know, and then Sam Smith with his big titties are like the biggest artist. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I can't get his titties out of my head. Uh, they show him everywhere. It's no, it's disgusting. It's, tra it's, it's trauma-based mind control. They've tra traumatized me with those titties, and I can't get them out of my mind. It was Brian Stelter. I used to look at him. I used to think he's like Mr. Potato. He's gone, so now it's like Sam Smith. There's just certain pictures or images that stick in my head or tattooed in my brain. Have you ever seen Brian Stelter and Sam Smith in the same place? That's the new conspiracy. That is, is Sam Smith, Brian Stelter. I actually kind of like that conspiracy. Oh. What is one of your favorite conspiracies? You know what mine is? And, a lot, and I actually got in an argument with Roseanne about this, who's my new friend, not trying to name drop. But I said, oh, I don't think, I need to get you on her show. I'll pitch you after, actually after it's we get over this. But listen, what, what I need to understand, and this is what the people are going to get so mad, I don't think Michael Jackson was a raper, rapist. Oh, that's not even a conspiracy, bro. That's real. It's a conspiracy that he was a rapist. I know, because, dude, James Safechuck and Wade Robinson both lied about him after he died. You know, they want, James Safechuck said he was molested in the train station and the plans, the architect hadn't even built the plans for him yet. And Wade Robinson, the main guy in the complaint against him in the documentary, testified on his behalf twice in front of California's top state prosecutor they asked him were you touched were you molested he said no you know and this is multiple times not only did they do it in court but they had depositions where he had his back too so for these guys to change their story like that i just i'm a big uh, michael jackson truther but but uh this is what roseanne said and it was a good point she said well he was friends with every david geffen with all these guys that were terrible so he may not have been bad or he may have saw bad stuff and turned his you know changed his mind but he was around a lot of bad people so that's why she thinks Something did happen because what do you think about R. Kelly? I think we all know R. Kelly's guilty as sin. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. It's on camera. So it's just different. And they investigated Michael Jackson for 19 years and they never, they found, they, what they said was, was a child porn or whatever was vintage erotica and it wasn't even children in the vintage. It was like an old like vaudeville picture or something with naked people on it. I don't know. World's fattest woman. Something stupid. My point is, I just don't think he, that's my favorite conspiracy to talk about. Cause it gets, I, I talked it, about this. It's not, it's not even because that's like, I think more people are leaning towards he didn't do it. And I don't know if it's because we're so in love with how talented he was, but if you, there's bro, it's so brilliant. I was watching, um, What's the dude, uh, 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 Steve Harvey. I was watching Steve Harvey uh, conversation talking about all his stories of Michael Jackson. Did you watch any of these or no? No, but I, uh, the, we're going to get on his rabbi, and I, I'm surprised that he had a rabbi, Rabbi Shmuley. You probably know Rabbi Shmuley, heard yeah. of him. We're going to have him on to talk all about Michael Jackson. He was his rabbi. So check it out. So after this or whenever you get a chance, look up these stories where Michael, uh, uh, Steve Harvey's telling very detailed stories of him knowing Michael Jackson. And he, bro, it, it, like, you can't make up these stories the way he was saying it, the way he was telling it. Obviously, he's a good storyteller and he's an entertaining guy. But he basically was saying, bro, like, I, I knew the whole time Michael didn't do it. And if you look far into it, before I, I was ever into any sort of conspiracy theories or anything, I, you know, I was just a rapper rapping, kind of blue pill doing whatever I did. There, I always knew that there was a big thing going on where Michael Jackson was ab about to take over a large portion of Sony music. Like, the whole thing, bro. It wasn't just like... A, like taking his own masters back or a portion of his catalog, there was a big ongoing thing going on where he was going to end up being like a huge owner in all of Sony music. And uh, obviously that didn't happen. So that's, and, that's one that's probably in your face. Yeah, that's a good. And then Conrad Murray, his doctor was giving him fit and our access to all that. But that, that's a true statement because uh, Sony ended up getting his whole catalog of records and he had the Beatles uh, records. And what they said was one of the most lucrative things 
is that Michael Jackson was really smart and he bought, I forget, like the Bee Gees or a lot of the 70s music that they ended up using in commercials later on. So Michael Jackson would get paid for a Kellogg's commercial or a Dove yep. Soap commercial because they were using these classic R&B songs. So he was one of the, the he was on the forefront of music licensing. So he's a brilliant yep. person. And that's why Sony conveniently got all of his uh, songs after that. That's kind of <laughs> makes you think. <laughs> Oh, my favorite conspiracy, uh, my favorite conspiracy is probably uh, that Sam Smith is Brian Stelter. Okay, all right. Now, what do you think <laughs> about India landing something on the moon? Do you think that they really did that? So, okay, so to, to be one of these community notes guys, so the one that's going viral. I know, it's a allegedly. digital representation, I know. But, dude, how stupid are we? They're going to show it. I got a 4K phone right here. They can't strap 20 iPhones on there or GoPros and give us some real footage that they can control a module. Shut up, Indy. I'm not falling for this scam. I guess, I guess my favorite one might be, honestly, is, um, and, and maybe I believe it, I can't tell if I believe it or not, is, is genuinely the Michelle Obama man one. I think that that, like, might be possible. You saw my uh, biological father, Tucker Carlson, was joking about it. I don't think it is a conspiracy that Barack Obama is writing letters to his old girlfriend that he fantasized about gay sex. I've never fantasized about gay sex. I've joked about it on this show, but I've never actually fantasized about it and wanted to send it. As a matter of fact, that's a last thing. It makes me sick. If I ever see, you know, go to these pride rallies and see two dudes kissing, go, they can do that, but it makes me ill. Like, I'm going to be watching that. Give me a break. So funny. So I say it, I say it all the time. Like, just when I, like, I might just have a really, like, a be around homies and we're talking about nothing. And I'm like, y'all know how I know I'm not gay? I'm like, that shit's gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I just can't be gay, man. And, and respect to like, like there, I, I was just having this conversation with my homie. I don't, I think a lot of gay people don't want to be gay. Like, like, like the way yeah. I'm attracted to a woman, they're attracted to a man, you know? So it's like, if I could, I wouldn't, ima I couldn't imagine if God made me attracted to men the way that I'm attracted to women, obviously my wife, but the way that me as a straight male is attracted to women. It's like that, that's crazy that, that, that exists. You know what I mean? And once again, I feel bad for these people. I feel bad for everybody, bro. Once again, the guys with the dildos on their heads that are running around twerking in front of kids, I have no, I have no uh, remorse for these people. <laughs> no, those uh, guys, do, we don't, no remorse for them. What's the guy's name on, at Blaze TV? Uh, uh, Ruben. Yeah. Respect to respect. He's great. He's just yeah. Well, see, everybody a has a gay family member, a gay uncle, cousin, or whatever. So it's like I'm not even anti-gay. Like like you just said, I actually think a lot of gay people with this LGBTQ mafia, they're actually kind of mad at the T's, at the trans, because it kind of takes away from their movement because they've latched onto it and have almost been like a cancer to it, and has caused what they call trans exclusionary radical feminist turfs, where there are gay women that are fighting with trans women and men. So it's really this convoluted. thing thing that started off as somebody has a different sexual preference that's okay but we don't need to put pride flags in elementary schools we don't need to transition kids and give them puberty blockers it's like i'm not anti-gay i'm just anti the weird sexual indoctrination of children you know what, uh, or unwilling participants the other day someone was like uh, it was it was a brand it was a brand that i was maybe going to work with or, or somebody who was like kind of brokering a brand deal and he said, yo, I don't know if we're going to be able to take you, blah, 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 because your whole page is um, anti-trans. I said, no, I'm not anti-trans. I, I was like, I hate everybody equally. I was like, I was bullied for being, a, I was like, I was being bu bullied for being an ugly white Jewish kid that was skinny, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I was like, Are, can trans people not be bullied too? Like, we were all bullied for things. You know what I mean? I never needed my identity validated by anybody except maybe my family and my wife. You know what I mean? Outside of like my immediate circle, I don't need strangers to validate who I am. And I think that's what it comes down to, whether it's gay, trans, uh, uh, Jewish, black, Asian. Like if you if you're if you live this victim mentality and this victim mindset, you know, you're never going to be happy, bro. It's, and, and that's where, in my opinion, God and trusting God um, kind of comes into it, because. You know, once you trust God, you don't need any outside validation or factors and stuff like that in your life. So, you know, it's, it's less about, yo, this is the trans community. This is the gay community. We can't because I think it's very tribal. The same way people hate Trump supporters or hate Republicans or conservatives. It's like I think it just comes down to like people playing victim and acting like a victim and needing the world to validate their identity. No, you said it best. I mean, the victimhood mentality is just so toxic. Toxic. Everybody, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. It's the worst way to be. We need to be pimps on blimps. We need to be creating new songs like you using technology that are, that's badass. Like, we just need to actually not... You could have been a victim. You could say, oh, well, I'm not on a major label. I'm not this. I'm not that. 
but you're independent. You go out there and you get what you want. You go out there and take it. And that's what the individuals don't do. We're all scared. Everybody's under trauma-based mind control. They all put on the mask. They all follow direction because we're all sheep. So I guess we need more people like you waking people up from this trance, this trauma-based mind control that we're all under. That's the plan, man. <clears throat> Me and my homie Jimmy, when we were putting out all that music during the lockdowns and the mandates, we basically came up with this whole thing where we were talking about, and my wife as well, and I work with one other producer, but it was basically like just a small group of people where we're saying like compared to Fox or CNN or whatever, you know, these people are putting people in a trance and it's mind control, like you said. And the only way to break people out of that is like a reverse psyop or a reverse, I, I don't want to call what I'm doing propaganda, but the only way to wake people up, but you can't just shake them. You know what I mean? You can't go up and punch them. And people are asleep. So you need to fight back culturally, you know, comedically through art, through entertainment, you know, almost like a renaissance. Right. And um, I feel like that's where we're at now where, where, you know, it's, I can't, I see comments now where they're like, yo, is the right becoming cool now? Is the right funny again? Is blah, 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 or now, whatever, whatever. And it's because of you. It's because of me. It's because JP Sears. It's because people are out there doing what they're doing. And, you know, it's not necessarily saying vote right or vote Trump. It's just like, yo, conservatism is cool. You know, the nuclear family is cool. God is cool. All these things are cool. Whereas, you know, the culture has been so degenerative for so long. And so, you know, it's just been disgusting for decades that we're taking it back, bro. If you think back to like 70s, 60s, 50s in the U.S., it was even though it was like in its own way, very propagandist, where it was like pro-war, mm -hmm. um, you know, very pro-military, pro-America to, to the most extreme, you know, 10th, you know, millionth degree. But there was still like like they had Captain America on cereal boxes and shit like that. And they had, you know, Bruce Jenner before Bruce Jenner was, you know, what he is <laughs> yeah. now. Caitlin. So, you know, we had we had Olympian, like we had we had strong. It sounds funny. We had strong men, you know, Bruce, Caitlyn Jenner. We had strong men on back. But the point is, is like we have to find that median, bro, because I've seen two polar polar opposites in a, in a hundred years. You've seen you've seen like religious extremism where we live in a world where you can't have any religious freedom. You can't be a Muslim. You can't be a Jew, or you can't be a Christian or a Catholic. And then you live in the world now where Every religion is demonic to these people and every yeah. religion is crazy. So 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 we're fighting back, man, culturally where we're just trying to swing the pendulum back, man. No, we really are. I think that, that we're actually starting to make some headway because it's the things have gone so far left, it's almost impossible for the pendulum not to just naturally swing back due to just the forces. It can only go, you know, it's going to be either make a full circle, you know what I'm saying? So it's either going to swing yeah. one way, either a full circle, or it's going to lose energy and start swinging back our way. Okay, now I want to, to react to a couple things, and we have to bring on, actually, let's just bring them on right now. White Darius and Big Nasty, come on set, because we're about to have them compete. So... You guys are gonna stand right here. Let me put this in front of you guys. So, hi Rez. These two individuals are, I don't even wanna call them actors because they don't know how to act at all. They don't know how to freaking act at one bit. What are you doing? Oh, are you man, mean mugging me? Yeah. Why is he mean? Show us all, you get all their perspectives because he does these weird stuff when he's not on camera and we never get it. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you wanna kill me? <coughs> Rez, this guy is an unregistered sex offender. How do, can you? Do you know any way to help us get him on the registry? Because if you look at him, I mean, dude, I just don't know what I'm going to do if he tries to sex offend me or sex offend nasty. Oh no, he already know me. What are you doing with his tongue? Look how he does with his tongue. He can stick his tongue in his nose. Show them. This is a secret talent. What do you think about that, high Rez? I've seen people do that, man. I think it definitely confirms your sex offender. <laughs> yes, dude. That's... Thank you, Rez. Mm. That makes you look like a sex offender. Okay, so we're going to put them through a series of challenges, but because Rez is a rapper, before we do the flan, I think it'd be very good and crucial to have them do a little freestyle battle. And listen, White Darius, you are down by three points. You understand that? I am down by three points. He's down by three points, so it's very important that he wins this rap battle. So as I get the flan, vanilla flan, because we ate black pudding and it looked like poop, so I want to have a little white representation for racial reasons. We're going to start off with you. Actually, we'll, we'll go with Big Nasty first. Drop your favorite bar, just a couple bars, and we're going to have high res, viral sensation rapper. He's going to decide which one of you is a better rapper for the first challenge. So give us some music, DJ. Now it is your turn. I'll just start us off just to get you flowing. It's prime time and high res. Talking about our prez. Trump, you're getting out of jail. Trump, I'll make your bail. Trump, we'll give him hell on your behalf. Kill you like a calf. Eating steak all day long. I'm so sorry that I texted your mom. And I love you, Donald Trump. And I got a little uh, flan on my hand. Now, let's 
see your plan. This is how we do. This is how we do when we get up <laughs> in the club. This is how we do. So come on, girls, and give tiny some big love. This is how we do. You know, it's how we get down in the club. This is how we do. Big Nash giving girls all the love. That was great, Big Nash. All right, now it is your turn, White right Darius. You grow up, I spent all my life thinking about what are you going to do with my wife. <laughs> you fucked her, Donald. You fucked her, and you're going bald too. What? I hate you, you evil blonde what? man. Stop talking bad about Donald don't Trump. Don't make me stand for you. So you don't like Donald Trump, White Darius? He cuckolded me. Cuckolded you? What does that mean? He gave me horns. He, what are you talking? Hi, Rez. Do you have he any? He stole my wife. Well, who, what are you talking about? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? Hi, Rez. Who won that? Seriously, who uh, did you like better, Big Nasty oh, or White Darius? From a rapping standpoint, I think I gotta give it to Big Nasty because he stayed on flow and it, it was it was good. But I genuinely enjoy White Darius' story and like the this, the, the backstory. It really it really touched my heart. So you're down by how many points now? Negative four. He's got to catch up in with the four competitions, and we only have 20 minutes left in the show. Oh, so how, no. How oh, no. Win? Okay, so now, now we're going to be, because we love traditional family values so much, and Rez is all about that, what we're going to do is we want you to be a father to this black child. So you're going to go first, and we're going to be quick. Who is the better father? Ready? You are now a dad. I am your wife. Here you go, honey. Here's your baby. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing tonight? Papa's gonna rock you to bed. You doing okay? <laughs> you need a nipple or something to sip on, baby? I can make it happen for you, sweetie. I'm gonna go get your mama and give you some good old chocolate milk from them nipples. That sound good, sweetie? Mmm. It's nice and warm and very lubricated and creamy. Mmm. That's what daddy was. Cream. Oh my gosh. Okay, great job, Big Nasty. That was nasty. Now, White Darius, show us your father skills. This is my baby, it's black. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. We're taking this to the, we're, we're going to Maury. <laughs> I kind of liked White Darius. I think he was a better dad. He was more realistic because you had Big Nasty talking about breastfeeding. And I know he has D-cup titties, but there's no milk coming out of those titties. So who is the best father right there, hi Rez? Uh, just for affirmative action, I'll give it to, uh, to, White, to White Darius. White Darius! Oh! Now he's only down three points. Okay, so do we? What other competitions do we have? You didn't bring the slingshot, did you? Uh, I forgot that. Sorry. Okay, we we might have to do a dance battle, but I want to actually get this real quick. So White Darius, he made this for me. Hi Rez. I don't know if you can see this. Do you see this? Ooh, uh, that's sick. Tell us a little bit about why you made me this. I like elephants, and I like you know weird Venetian design patterns that you see in movies sometimes. How long did it take you to make this? Like, I don't know, uh, six hours. This is what I think it is trap! Six <laughs> hours! Yeah, this is what I, yeah, yeah, oh, this is a crap, you crafts crap. I don't have time for your six hour elephant bull crap, hi res. This is not arts and crafts time, this is not kindergarten, get your mind right. Do you wanna be the next Blaze TV idol? Yes! All right, so. Alex, we got a quick ad read. Oh crap, okay, let me read the ad right now. Okay, I'll, I'll sit down for this. Maybe that might be better. Sam, I guess you can get in front, maybe like this. And then... Big tech and big data have shown us time after time that they're not on our side. And yes, we're giving them access to record our personal lives 24 seven through our phones. Even when your phone is off, the microphones and cameras and location trackers still work. And that's just the tech people. What about your personal security when it comes to your crazy ex or someone stalking you or even trying to blackmail you? It happens more than you think. This is why I use a Refuge Ghost Sleeve. It's made in America from American buffalo leather, and it blocks 5G signals that other Faraday sleeves miss. And, the, and it's the only Faraday sleeve that blocks signal and sound. They added sound blocking panels on each side that keep conversations private. This, is some, this isn't some clunky metal box. It looks cool, it's easy to put your phone in and take out of throughout the day whenever you want privacy. You can't be too careful these days and the Refuge Ghost Sleeve can help keep you safe. Visit refugeprivacy.com today. 
Use the code Alex to save 10% off your order. That's refugeprivacy.com, promo code Alex for 10% off. Go support them now! Seriously, I'm done with this bull crap. You guys not supporting our sponsors. That You, you need that thing, that refuge sleeve. They're gonna try to steal your data. They can go around you. They have all kinds of cloning things where if you're on a New York subway, they can just like stand next to you and then clone your whole cell phone. Get the Faraday sleeve. It looks cool. It's gonna keep you safe. And more importantly, it's gonna keep me having a job. Bob! Refugeprivacy.com, promo code Alex. All right, so. <laughs> Stop touching the baby, okay? Stop touching the baby. Now, are you sad about that your arts and crafts project? Good. That's how I want you to be. I want you to be sad, like a mother effer. Okay, so you're down how many points? Three. You took, the, you took the art project away from me, so that's at least three points. So okay, it's, it's that's now. three points. All right, now I want you guys, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna separate these puddings. Because they eat the puddings and the flans really fast, we have to uh, put a quick time limit on it. So we're gonna give you guys 30 seconds. You each have, how many flan is that? Six. So he got six. six. Okay, is that six and six? Uh -huh. So maybe Sam, kind of stay wide the whole time so we can see, you know, each flan. When I say go, Rez, these people, Rez, where are you? Turn back, we need you, okay. I want you to judge. We're gonna see who can eat this flan the fastest. So when I say go, you guys are gonna eat the flan. Do you understand this? Yes. Ready, set, go. Look at them go, hi Rez, they're going. Look at the flan, they're having trouble opening it. I think they're both having, a, how good is that flan? Is it delicious? Suck it down. Do oh, not wow. get it on the carpet. Suck it down more. Suck it, it down in your gullet. Get it in your mouth right now. Oh, Hi, Rez. Who do you think's winning? It's 3-3. Three, three. It's 3-2. Three to two. White Darius got, killing it right now. Yeah, 15 seconds left. Hurry, White Darius, you're winning. Ah, uh, dude, he can't get it open. You gotta just smash it. With oh, go, face. go, go, White Darius! You're spilling flan sauce, creme brulee. Okay, that's your last one, White Darius. You do that. Why there is ding 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 hit the bell? Oh, that... <laughs> that was super impressive. That was insane. That's disgusting. That burp was just so nasty, and now there's there's sauce everywhere. V vanilla flan cream is everywhere. What the hell happened, Big Nasty? I couldn't open it, man. My big old fat fingers, dude. You know what I'm saying? I could not even open, I could not get it open at all. And you're That's strong, looking. you have strong arms. I, I sure don't know do, why. man, but God, it was just, I don't know what it was tonight, man. I was so excited and pumped up and everything and just couldn't get it done. Damn shame. Oh, man. man. Come now, on. Now, White Darius, how are you able to succeed so well in that? Did you use the anger for me uh, breaking your art project? Did that help you? <laughs> yes. Revenge. Revenge is best served cold and flatulent and flam. All right, well, okay, now I'm gonna move this back. You're only down by two, White Darius. So this round is gonna be very important, High Res. What we're gonna do now is going to be a dance battle. Actually, excuse me, before right. the dance battle, before the dance battle, I had it out of order, we're going to do a quick roast battle. You guys are going to All have right. to roast each other with your yeah. favorite disses. Starting with you, White Darius, I want you to start roasting Big Nasty. I have a dad! <laughs> why do you, why are you like this? Oh, my improv skills is bad! Oh! Yes, they're very bad. You it's a sad day today, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, now, it's your turn to roast him. I'm sorry that he made fun of you not having a dad. I hope you had one, I don't know. But, did you have a dad? Uh, yes, I did. He did have oh, a dad. Oh, God a dad, damn, man. He has a dad. I had two dads. He has two dads. They're dad. dads. I have three moms. My mom got around, man. She loved Tupac. Ah, what does that mean? She loved Tupac. She loved this song. I get around. I get around. Down from the underground. When they come around. <laughs> so your mom was a Tupac oh, freak. Oh, yes, she was. Then my mom was a big time freak. My mom would have liked you. She was a biggie freak. She oh, loved yeah? big fat black men. She would have loved for you just to lay on top of her and suffocate her with your big titties. She would have loved that. Okay, so now it's your turn to roast this turkey. Look at his sorry ass, looking like who farted and what for. What you on, man? Dope or dog food? 
Get your trick ass on out of there. You know you was gonna lose tonight. It's a wrap. It's over, buddy. Ooh, boom, roasted. Boom, I got roasted. Okay. I got toasted too at the same time. One more roast. Now give him one more of this. No, I do Etsy, not Walmart. That's your diss. Your diss is I, 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 can, I do Etsy, not Walmart. That is your. I had to have something to come off me first. It's 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 too difficult. Okay, it's just too. It's it's just like oh. Okay, stop. Now now it is your turn, uh, and you have to be. I don't do Etsy. I what is it? I do Etsy. I don't do Walmart. Is that yes? What? You need to roast something better than that. Boom. White Darius. Boom. You already know you don't stand a chance against Big Nasty. Boom, boom, boom. So you need to take and get your shaggy ass on up out of here and go run on another stage. Because it's not happening here. And tell him, he's shaggy tell, ass. tell him how about he smells like. Oh, yes, yeah, very smelly. Actually, yeah. you smell better as your yeah, hair. Yeah, because you his his hair today. Yeah, guess what? We we're all have flom all over us. Yeah, you don't have that much flan over you, and you're about to have a lot more flan. Okay, now this is the last competition. We are going to have a dance battle. Do we have music? Oh, who won that? <laughs> who won the roast battle? Chat rat. Honestly, it was like it was equally bad. I think no one should gain or get points or or lose points. That was like, you know, you got the trans the trans Antifa guy on the left, White Darius. Chris Chan. And, uh, he's Chris Chan. Tra tra yeah, yeah, no, he looks like a trans Antifa guy. And then you got the Badlands guy who chugs on YouTube on the other guy. He's the guy who's really good at chugging. So uh, I like them both, man, but it was equally, equally pretty bad. That was equally. terrible, guys. That was terrible. So now this competition needs to be good. That was a draw. Gotcha. So we're going to do a dance contest. DJ, hit that beat. I want you to go first, Big Nasty. No, dance in the, out in the front so they can see it. Go, Big Nasty. Go, Big Nasty. Go, Big Nasty. Go, Big Nasty. Go, go, go. Hey, 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 hey. One finishing move. What's your creme de la creme move? Oh, great job. All right, now, White Darius, it's your turn. Start dancing. Alex, this up. The next Blaze TV Idol. How does it feel to be oh, man, I don't know. crown champion? Threw some things good. around. Can't already hear anybody. Know what's gonna happen. I already told you. I was full of confidence, and uh, you already I knew did. what was up before I even walked in the building. Okay, now to celebrate, put on the horse mask and do gotcha. the horse dance. Now you gotta do the horse dance. Walk around like you just took ivermectin. <laughs> Play some music. White Darius, you are fired! Get off oh, my set! Get off my set! What is it? What are you doing? What are you doing? Laughing? What is so funny? I'm sick of your dumb ass. All you do is nonsensical bull crap! Nonsense. Call security! Call security, I want his ass out! You are fired! 
You're never coming back ever again. You realize that? What are they saying in the chat? What are the chat rats saying? Chat rats. Show him. Show Big Nasty. Look at Big Nasty. That is the future of this show. That is the future. How do you feel now? How do you feel now getting your ass fired like freaking other people that have gotten fired in the past? Come closer. Can you see us in the light? How do you feel? I'm, I'm completely okay. Okay, well, he's not taking it out. I, I thought he would. I thought you'd be a little more upset. Serial killer vibes. Yeah, no, it just it doesn't happen that way. How does it happen? You're not going to kill me secretly, are you? I do have a lot of polonium-210. Stop saying polonium-210! Gosh, all right, high res. This show has been insane. There's pudding everywhere. There's forks. There's a big, fat, black man wearing this freaking horse's head. What am I supposed to do, dude? I'm trying to help our ESG score. High res, will you make sure to share this, dude? Because this show is not going to survive with people like White Darius sabotaging these events and, you know, causing me to lose viewership. Yeah, man, I feel I feel sorry for White Darius, but I just uh, I just gave twenty bucks for his departing gift. Oh, and he's not gonna get that. We're gonna keep all proceeds. Yeah, White Darius is. We're never gonna see him again. Just imagine that he is the same as the other Darius that took a fentanyl uh, Delta Eight overdose. So that's just how it Big goes. Big Nasty will get it. Yes. So how do you feel as a new champion, Big Nasty? So Big. Big Nasty, what you gonna do with the twenty? Yeah. I feel great. Feel what are you great. gonna do with the twenty dollars that you won? Oh man, you know what? Probably go uh, uh pop a dose. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna get a pop a dose? Add two fags? Oh man, uh, get... oyster uh, uh, oyster uh, poor boy man with some uh, grits. No, damn, that is black as hell. Sure you are is, a black man. man. You gotta keep it real. <laughs> they sell it with the grits <laughs> like that? Man. Oh yes, indeed, big dog. Another twenty dollars super fire. chat, Anthony Jones. You're fired. <laughs> Anthony Jones, who is that? What does that mean? I don't understand. But they gave twenty dollars. What is that supposed to mean, Brandon? I'm assuming that's to White Darius. To White Darius. We got another one. Ten dollars super chat from uh, Grofty. High Res, the badass. High Res is a badass. Okay, so High Res, we're about to end the show. Tell the people how they can find you and support you before we go. Yeah, you can find me H I R E Z anywhere. I should be one of the first people popping up anywhere, and uh, I'm probably gonna drop a new. I don't know if you have time, and I send you that, but I'm gonna drop. Let's a new play it. Let's record. play it. I got it right here. Let's do it. I got it right here, guys. We're gonna preview this a little bit right now. Let me play it. Let me got it. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Trump the Don back at it again. Shout out Big Tucker, Alex Stein. Alex Stein, let's go. Peterson and They call me racist. Fake news. Kodak Mazoa got love for my Haitians. They cool. The media full of these federal agents. Break rules. America first. These candidates hate it. And hate you. Keep it ten toes now. They true. Everybody they were loving me. To the media was switching up on me. Now they all trying to come for me and get a little piece of my money. Greatest president of Go time. Big Nasty. Go Big Nasty. The only president I love more is them blue honey Ben Franklin's. These rappers are flexing their cars. Some are flexing a house. My toilet bowl is made of solid gold. I don't need gold in my mouth. Government is full of perverts. Ignoring the Hillary servers. Did Epstein really get murdered? That was my burner. Eating Trump steak, drinking Trump water. Trump towers with Trump daughter. Trump wine, I'm a super gremlin. I don't care. Don't step on the pudding. The tapioca. Don't dance on this. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. Hi, Rez. I'm going to get in trouble, dude. This stuff leaves a stain. I don't want to leave my job because of tapioca flow. Break rules. America first. These candidates hate it. And hate you. Keep it ten toes now. Say true. Wow. We're making it out of Trump Towers with this one. It <laughs> smells so bad. <laughs> All right, high res. Everybody go support this song. Oh, I'm out of Thank breath. You. Thanks for having me. <sighs> I don't want to lose my job, and I got a black man dressed as a horse dancing around. I just don't know how I'm going to keep it. Oh, high res. People need to watch this show. You guys need to like and subscribe to this damn show right now! Tell them, Hi Rex, I need to subscribe right now and share this with more people! Everyone, please subscribe right now. We need uh, we need Alex Stein to eat and live and clean up floors and to get vocal cord surgery. Yes! Yeah. Wow. I need surgery. I need trans surgery. I need a vasectomy. I want to cut off my titties now! But before we cut off my titties, we end the show the same way every time with a freestyle finale. So, DJ, hit that beat. Go, go. 
it's prime time. They call me Alex Stein. Yes, I got high res on the line. And you know I'm feeling fine. Cause I always grind and shine. One more time, I'm teaching class. Prime time, 99, grabbing that ass. Cause I like the booty, it is so tight. I'ma like it if you're black and white. No flavor is the best. Every booty will pass a test. Up and down, round and round. I don't care if it's white or brown. I'ma take you to Funky Town. Big Nasty is so great. Me and a pimp in the Lone Star State. He is the winner of Blaze TV Idol. When you were a dad, you held that child so well. Now you're getting out of jail. Like my homie Donald Ooh. Trump. Big Nasty ain't a chump, he is a horse on his head. Ivermectin, no he's not dead, let's go. Ooh. Use a hoe, I'm a pimp, on the floor, and I grind and shine hey. every time, cause I'm number, number 99. High rest should be pressed, and you know, you know the rest. I'll extend on the grind, and I do it one more time. Practice, got to go, and you is a bitch asshole. Oh, I love that, man.